Hello, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. Let's provide an answer to this simple question on polygons. Alright, so the ratio is more or less like a word problem and a polygon. Normally, under polygon, we want to see a diagram. So, you see the ratio of the exterior angle to that of the interior angle of a regular polygon is what? 1 is to 11. Meaning, 1 for the ratio of exterior, then 11 for the ratio of what? Interior. Alright. So, how many sides has the polygon? So, we are looking for that N value. We all know a polygon has size. If you are asked to find the sum of the exterior angle, we know all exterior angle add up to what? 360. So all of them, since they say regular. So if there are five, all the five angles, if you add, you should get what? 360. Now, if I'm looking for only the one of them, since they are regular, so if I am adding five angles to get 360, they are all equal, regular, meaning equal size. Then if I'm looking for one of them, it should be x plus x plus x plus x plus x equals what? This. Meaning five of the equal x will become 5x equals this. To get one of them, I must divide by what? That five, which is the number of sides. So, the looking for only one of them will be the 360 divided by the number of sides will give you one of the regular angles. Alright. Now, if I'm looking for the sum of the interior angle, that is what we have as n minus 2 times what? 180. Sum of the interior angle. Sum, meaning adding all. And in this case, regular. So, if I'm adding all, 10 plus 10 plus 10, if they are 5, it means there are 5 of the angles giving me this value. So if I'm looking for 1, then I must divide by what? The number of sides. So this is the, the interior angle of a polygon, regular polygon. This is the exterior angle of a regular polygon. You see, ratio of exterior is to what? Interior. The ratio of exterior. So, in this case, without wasting time, I will say that exterior angle is to interior angle. Exterior angle is to ask the question. Ratio of exterior to interior. Exterior to interior. If I am writing this ratio, then it means that the ratio I'm giving can be written as a proportion to this. Meaning, this is going to be, if this is exterior, is to interior, it will be proportional to 1 is to what? 11. I can write this as a proportion. Meaning, exterior angle is to interior angle equals to the ratio of exterior is to ratio of interior. I believe you get that. Alright. So now, we know this as 360 over N, as in formula, is to, this is going to be N minus 2 times 180 all over N equals to 1 is to what? 11. We are only replacing the word exterior angle with the formula. The word interior angle with each word formula. Then we have proportion. Don't forget, A is to B, the same as what? A over B, proportion or ratio. So I am going to say that this fraction is going to be divided by this. Do you get it? It will be this fraction divided by this fraction. So if I want to write it, to avoid the double fractions, I can have 360 over N divided by n minus 2 over n equals to this become 1 over 11. Do you get the concept? It's a division. This is 10 to division. So it will be double division. That is why I bring this term. So that I can change this to become a multiplication. 
then I'll flip the second fraction. All right. So 360 n times n over n minus 2, 180 over 11. Step by step. I believe at this point you can pause the video and try and see if you can perform the cancellation. I can see that this will cancel this. So this will be multiplying 1 because this will become 1. 1. This will multiply 1. Then 1 will multiply this. Alright, so this, take care of this. I'll be left with 360 all over n minus 2. So simple, right? Two fractions. Fraction, fraction. So what do we do? We cross multiply. Better still use the LCM. So one will multiply this. So I have N minus this. 180. Then this will become 360 times what? 11. So if I have that, now I can expand. This is a bracket. So this will become 180N minus, this time this is what? 360. All equals to, I believe I have 3960. Well, let's try. I think uh, 360, 11, so 0, 6, 3, 0, 6, 3. So let's see. 0, 6, 9, 3. That is what you get. I think in one of my videos, I give a, uh, a tuition on how to multiply a number by what? 11. So you only open the number. So 3 here, 0 there. So 3 plus 6, you write it down. 6 plus 0, write it down. So that's why I got this. So 3 plus this, 0 plus this, so I got the same answer. Alright, so what do we do? We are having this. This is a constant, must be transferred to the other side. So 180n equals to 3960 plus 3 what? 60. Alright, so 360 here, 0, 2, adding 1 to this, 3, so what? 4. So it means I'll be having 180n equals to 4320. We are paying attention to what? The end. So we divide both sides by the 180. So 180, 180. This will clear this. So n equals to this. We'll cancel that. Then we need to find other factors that can divide that. I believe uh, if I take 6, 6 can go into this 7 times. As in 42. I believe if 1. 1 and 2, that is what? Uh, 12. 6 go there, 2. 6 here, 3. Then 6 into this place, no, 3. Here, 2. Remember 1. 3 into that is what? 4. So I have 24, I guess. We can use calculator and check whether that is 24. Here, 6 or 1. Uh, yeah, 24. So therefore, the size of the polygon is what? 24. So this polygon has what? 24 size. Before you can be able to get its exterior angle to be a ratio of 1 is to 11 of its interior angle. So 24 size. So you can see this just like a word problem. Combining ratio and proportion to gather your for polygon. You must know the formula for exterior angle, interior angle, sum of exterior, sum of interior. These are the only four formulas that we have under polygons. Very easy to uh, remember. So take a question on your own. Try to follow the procedure you have there and solve it. And I bet you, you will be one of the mathematics enthusiasts that we will be seeing. See you in the next episode. But don't forget, this is Tazunomi 
online mathematics please like the video share with others and leave a comment behind behind this video so that i also know your thoughts we are all into this we learn relay and i learn together bye bye